thanks for tuning in. It's the one and only Optobotomist coming to you with another video review. And this is the one I was absolutely most excited about in this new wave. On today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of my patrons, Optobotomist Plus channel members, and even those of you that just hit that thumbs up button, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. Such an absolute fun character from the G1 days. It's great to have a really nice new updated version of them. For the package, of course, you got the Transformers text and the Generation logo and gorgeous art here with Huffer both in his robot and his vehicle mode. And then like with all these Kingdom figures, the art kind of bleeds over from the side. You can see it's on an angle here. So you get a real good look at it, giving a really cool depiction of Huffer. But what that translates to is a smaller window to see the figure. But you can still see him from about the waist up. Come around to the side, of course, you got that really cool kingdom style image right there. Of course, several figures that I'm really still looking forward to being shown right on that side. Come around to the back of the package. And of course, you got images of him in his robot as well as his vehicle mode. And like I said, this was one that I was absolutely thrilled with the announcement and instantly became my most anticipated figure in this wave. But for the packaging on the guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the new Deluxe Class Huffer open up and out of his packaging. And starting off first, uh, he does come with this collector card. Now, I got another Optimus. Uh, you can take a look on the inside. You got the writing right there, and it's Optimus uh, just kind of standing there. Now, the other figure that's in this wave was RC. Unfortunately, though, I already got her with the Earthrise line. So I had zero interest in picking her up. So I'm curious what card she comes with odds are i'll never get it because i'm not going to rebuy that figure just to get a new card but if you know uh leave me a message down in the comment section let me know but as you can see huffer here is fantastic absolutely wonderful representation of how he looked uh with a slight update i mean the way that he looks like this kind of looks like he's a dump truck of sorts you can kind of see that you got like a a flatbed section right there and like i said for the most part Kind of looks like a dump truck. Now, that's not uh, what I'm going to want him to look like. So, I'm going to pull this piece off and this piece. And this comes together and forms his gun, which... Putting that together right like so. There you have his gun. That's a nice looking blaster too. Totally something that I would see him using. And then he comes with... I think they refer to it as just like a shield of sorts. But uh, taking this off and I detach some stuff... Uh, you got that. It, it pegs in uh, via three different sort of pegs and then three separate holes on the back section. But I don't really care too much about those. What is really fun, though, is you got a fourth hole that you can see right there, which can be used with the trailer that came with Optimus Prime. You can put that right like so, and you can have that recreation of one of those G1 episodes. I, I really dig that it's not going to be something that I'm going to do, but I love the fact that they included something like that. That's a really nice touch. Now, bringing in some other figures for comparison, uh, here is Optimus Prime, obviously a Voyager class figure, but you can see that he does get considerably smaller than Optimus, which is accurate because he was in the original line, a mini bot. So he should be a little bit smaller, but how does he look with some other mini bots? Well, here's Cliff Jumper. And here's Bumblebee. And honestly, he's a little, I mean, because he's a truck, he's a little bit bigger than them, which I do like. Robot mode is going to be a little bit more uh, close in terms of the scale, but uh, honestly, this works for me. I mean, we're so used to seeing these guys as super teeny tiny representations. Then it's almost a little bit jarring when you take a look at them at, as a bigger figure, but I think it's good. Vehicle mode wise though, I, I think they did a terrific job. He does have a, a tendency to kind of look like he's a little bit um, like either too high there or too low. I guess that's just a matter of adjusting these to kind of get it where he's going to be flat-ish. But I, I think it works okay. Uh, you can see there is a big giant hole going through there. It doesn't hurt my feelings all that much. I mean, it, it is kind of noticeable, but... It's okay. You got a nice blue translucent window there, which kind of hides everything on the inside fairly decently, but still gives a slight see-through aspect. Nice silver for the, the grill, the bumper, the lights and everything. You got silver for the smokestacks. Uh, shout out to my buddy TJ, who basically said that uh, he, he looks like he's a, a bit too buff. Um, 
I don't think so, but he, he definitely has really large smokestack things there, which do translate into bigger size arms. Come around to the back, you can see that this section here has some nice sculpted in detail with like kind of like a metal grid sort of thing. You got some taillights right, right there in the back, uh, silver on the top. So overall, really solid. I like the way that he looks. I am quite happy. Come around to the bottom, you can see all sorts of robot stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Now, transformation, first we're gonna take his legs and rotate these around just like that. Go ahead and split them and then take these gray bits and rotate these around to the back. You're basically gonna create uh, the bottom section of his foot in addition to the heel section of them. So boom, there's that, those are done. Come to these smokestacks. I find it a little bit easier to take this and bend it back here at what's basically gonna be the elbow just to kind of loosen it from the tabs that are on the back of the cab, makes it a little bit easier. And then take this, pull this away and create some clearance here for you. Then this piece here tabs in. So you wanna kind of loosen things up here and then pull this whole bit away. Now these tires are a little bit tricky because they kind of tab in. And if you just try to, you're supposed to rotate around the back, but when you rotate them, that happens uh, because it kind of locks in there fairly securely. And you just got these mushroom cap sort of bits for the tires. So you kind of have to push on them to get them to rotate. So kind of push here and then rotate them back. So don't necessarily pull to do it. Otherwise, you're probably going to pull the tire off. You can rotate his head around if you want and then take these bits, rotate these up. That'll lock in just like that. Rotate that around, rotate there, and then straighten out the hand. So again, do that there, that, that. Then bring this entire section back and in. And then you got this little gray section that's now in between the tires. It's gonna go underneath this gray lip. So just push that like that. Now this is open to interpretation, however you really wanna do it. Uh, that looks good. You can extend it all the way up, which uh, I, I don't know necessarily if that's the official way to do it. Uh, I mean, the instructions, you can do whatever you want, or you can kind of hinge it back and down, kind of getting it a little bit closer to the body where it's gonna be like that. Uh, I, th I honestly think that looks a little bit better, but um, I, I, that might be the official way of doing it, to be totally honest. He did have a big giant thing up there, but um, as long as you kind of keep it, uh, I feel like straight right there, you can kind of do it however you want. But when you're done, there you have Huffer in his robot mode. And this guy turned out fairly nicely. One issue though that I do have is as good as he looks, he is actually fairly big. Uh, my, my, I talked about my friend TJ commenting about his arms looking really buff and, and they definitely do. Maybe more so down here with the forearms. Those look really kind of bulky. Um, but maybe I'm thrown off by how big he is, but here he is for a comparison. And yeah, this is a Voyager class figure. And I think that the size still is pretty decent. Obviously a Voyager figure should be much larger than a deluxe and Huffer should be smaller than Optimus. But this is where things I feel get a little bit weird. Here's Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. And um, that, that just looks weird. T to me, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, like I said, the look on him is really good. I just feel like he's pretty big. I, I Maybe if he was just like uh, half the height taller than these guys. But as it is, I mean, you could even take this. And I mean, that, that makes it even more ridiculous looking. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. I, I mean... Does that bother you guys? Let me know in the comments section if that really stands out to you. It kind of, it's just jarring to my eyes, I suppose. And for another comparison, here he is next to a Coca-Cola Tic Tac container. Overall, like I said, the look of him is outstanding. I just, I just really do think that he is pretty big. I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe he would work really well in a masterpiece scale. I don't know, but... Coloring looks fantastic. I mean, the yellowish orange works pretty good. The silver on here, but I really like this. Uh, I don't even know, like a very light purple and then a light blue. The color on there looks really, very nice. The silver accents really help to kind of bring things out. I'm happy with how that turned out. The Autobot logo looks really nice. And uh, as you can see, you could store this 
here or he's got all these little hole sections so you can weaponize him with like rack tonight if you want to you got that for a shield you can bring this around to the back and you can plug that in there uh just to kind of hide that uh and you don't really see it uh too much one thing that i do like is that the heels here because they extend so much further past his uh, actual legs it balances very nicely with this huge backpack so that looks really good uh, his gun, you can just, you know, have him hold it. So uh, I guess he, he's got all the weapon storage uh, that you would really need. Kind of wish maybe you could, like, tuck this up underneath there. And hide that a little bit better. I, I don't know. Does that? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Does that kind of fit up under there? Eh, eh, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Um, But eh, it is what it is. Uh, Articulation-wise... Uh, when this is where it is like this, uh, it's it's a little bit difficult to get to the head. So if you lift that up, you can rotate that. And, and yeah, I think that this is the official transformation form, which does bring this a little bit closer to the back. But I don't like how big that sticks above his head. But uh, it does make it a little bit easier to get to the head, which does have a uh, ball joint on there. The shoulders here are on uh, pin hinge joints. So you can, or uh, oh, you got swivels and then you got hinges here. You have a swivel at the upper part of the elbow. Uh, the elbow itself bends a little less than 90 degrees. Uh, you do have, oh no, yeah, no wrist rotation, but you got uh, in and out as part of the transformation. Does rotate at the waist. The hips here have uh, pin hinge joints moving in and out, forward and back. Rotates at the upper part of the thigh. Bends uh, really deep at the knee, uh, again, as part of the transformation. You do have the ankle tilt. I also like how they do have a little bit of that extra bit that comes up so that you can kind of spread his legs about that far uh, but it covers it nicely so you don't see it but you know you can overdo it a little bit and then you have slight gapping so not too bad and, and i guess and that i don't know why you would consider that articulation but you know honestly the more that i'm looking at that i don't think i it doesn't bother me all that much um but it, it varied. Uh, some scenes in the cartoon, this was really big on them. But overall, really very happy with how the guy turned out. I just, like I said, I feel that the size is a little bit too over the top on him. It doesn't make me dislike the figure, but it is definitely a bigger figure. And one that I would want to be a little bit smaller, but I'm just happy that we got him. Now, to transform him back, we're going to, again, bring this up, kind of get this away. Kind of straight, oh well, rotate his head. Pull this whole section away from the body. You can take this. Now you got these little tabs down here that are going to lock in with things. So this is going to swivel down. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's going to swivel down. And then that will lock into place right there. It's a little bit hard to see. Oh, no. I'm going to bring that up anyhow. So we'll fiddle with that later. So, all right. Just detach that and then bring these tires around and lock that into place there and then bring this whole section back up uh so now when you have that up now you can slot those little pieces in there there we go that makes it a whole lot easier to do it that way so just like that then these you're going to rotate that around and get that out of the way and then this is going to hinge back keep that collapsed in collapse that all the way down and then these like i said you want to kind of rotate that around bend these so that the slots are going to be facing this and then bring the elbows in that makes it a little bit easier to get both of these lined up at the same time then you can push them all the way in locks in perfectly then take the fists tuck those down there i mean yeah you have visible fists but it's not too bad rotate that around you can connect these two halves and then rotate this around and uh, I mean, taking this completes the look. So you can put that there like so. Take this section. That's how bad it gets sometimes. There we go. And then we're going to take this and tab this in. Um, that's going to go here on this side. Got the little slot in the tab. Let's... Come in. There we go there we go do that on this side as well tabs in along that side and when you're done there you have huffer back in his vehicle mode
But all in all, I actually really do like the way that Huffer turned out. The only issue that I would have would be a completely subjective one, and that is I feel like he's a little bit too big to fit alongside the other mini bots like Bumblebee and Cliffjumper. But everything else about him is really well done. The vehicle mode wise is great. By putting these pieces here in the back, you do slightly give a different look to them, but you can remove them and give them a little bit more of that G1 look that we usually associate with Huffer. Transformation is pretty simple. Uh, he is a deluxe figure, so I don't expect him to be overly complex, but he definitely has a much more simplified transformation. And aesthetically, the robot mode looks outstanding. Yeah, he might look like he's got a little bit more bulky of arms, but when you're this small of a dude, you know, sometimes you compensate for things. And Huffer definitely seems like he might be the type of guy that would have to compensate for things. <laughs> all in all, though, I really do like the figure. While this was the one that I was looking forward to the most, largely because I am such a huge G1 fan, I do think that Air Razor edges him a little bit on my uh, geek out factor. I, I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm going to make it a thing. That's in no way indicative of this being a bad figure. It's just, like I said, I feel like the size pushes him out a little bit in terms of what I would hope for. But he is still well worth picking up, and I would absolutely recommend adding him to your collection. Now, all we need is gears. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, I got to send a huge shout out to all of you who watched my videos. All of your support is greatly appreciated. And I would appreciate it even more if you would do one more thing for me. And that's simply just to hit that little thumbs up button. Believe it or not, that one very small gesture actually does go a long way towards helping me out. And I would really very much appreciate it. If you could do a little bit more, consider becoming a member of Optobotomous Plus. Where through your paid subscription, you'll get exclusive member chat and comment emojis, loyalty badges, early access to video reviews, exclusive member live streams, Zoom calls, unboxing videos, as well as the occasional giveaways like these guys do. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.